very much. Um, welcome uh, to both of you. Um, given the way things are going at EPA right now, I want to ask you uh, each um, first, um, if you are to be uh, confirmed, um, what do you think the proper relationship should be between regulated entities and uh, their regulator in matters where the public health, safety, and welfare is involved? Mr. McIntosh. Having been on both sides of, of that, as, as both regulated and regulator. My, is your mic on? You may need to put a little bit nearer you. <laughs> um, having been on both sides over the last 40 years of both being regulated and, and, uh, and being a regulator, uh, it, really the relationships governed by the rule of law um, companies uh, and, and in general the uh, the agencies are are all committed to uh, protecting the public health and the environment and the uh, the agencies are committed to uh, implementing the law and the uh, companies are committed to uh, um, uh, complying with the law under what circumstances should the companies be able to direct the regulators activities or conclusions Companies, uh, co companies are always able, usually always able to talk to the agencies about their issues, um, uh, but the rule of law will be um, the, the thing that trumps everything and at some point the companies will have to uh, comply with the rule of law. Mr. Wright, same two questions. Proper uh, relationship and should the regulated entity be able to direct the regulator? Okay, so the relationship is governed by the uh, rules, regulations, policies, and procedures of the particular you know, program at issue uh, as between the parties. Uh, with respect to the, the second question, um, you know, again, it depends on the particular program, the particular context in which those discussions might take place, whether it's a consultation, whether it's negotiations over the terms of a consent order. Again, I think it depends on the, con on the particular context. Um, I'd like to ask it, each of you to say something about the concept of regulatory capture. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with the concept, Mr. McIntosh? I am not familiar with that term. Oh, well, you're probably going to be, Mr. Wright. Uh, I'm also not familiar with that term. Okay. So uh, assume that you are uh, in office. What do you think is appropriate regarding having your a professional staff run personal errands for you, like lotion producing or used hotel mattress seeking. Mr. McIntosh? Um, again, I'm not part of the agency. Uh, my, my uh, should I be confirmed, and I hope I am confirmed, I, I, I will follow and committed to following all the uh, uh, guidance of our ethics officials and all the rules and regulations um, that govern us carrying out our official duties. Will you ask your official employees to run personal errands for you? Uh, I, will, I will follow all the ethics rules and rules and regulations of the agency. Huh, I would have thought that would have been an easier question to answer. Are you Mr. Wright? Uh, Senator, I'm also not at the agency now, so I'm not fully familiar with all of the policies and procedures that apply, uh, but I also would follow all of the guidance from ethics officials about appropriate uh, assignments and responsibilities. Can you assure us that you wouldn't ask official staff to run personal errands for you? I, I have no intention to do so. Uh, how about uh, housing? Will you uh, accept housing here in uh, Washington paid for by lobbyists or regulated interests or subsidized by lobbyists or regulated interests? Mr. McIntosh? No. Mr. Wright? Uh, I have no need to. Um, with respect to uh, travel, are you willing to fly regular coach or will you demand first class travel? Mr. McIntosh? Um, I generally fly coach. Um, I am not familiar with the travel regulations at, at, uh, with the federal government. Um, I am with Ford and the state government, but I'll, I will commit to following the the regulations. As Mr. Wright? Um, Senator, I'm also not familiar with the travel regulations. 
coach is fine, but I don't know there are other provisions for um, different circumstances. Will you give? Could, your I, could I just turn around for a second? I would just observe. Sometimes the train works too. So, you know, for what it's worth. <laughs> Will you give your professional staff a uh, list of travel destinations that you would like to visit and tell them to find something for you to do there so that you can go visit your desired travel destinations? Uh, if confirmed, I, my understanding is I'll, I'll be required to set up official uh, visits um, uh, throughout the world and, and again, I'll follow all the, the regulations of, of the agency and, and the government as well as the ethics officials guidance. But you'll be doing that based on official needs, not your desire to go visit places. My, yeah, my job will be to uh, plan official visits. And you won't be needs. making pretext visits to places you simply want to go see at taxpayer expense? No. Mr. Wright? Uh, my answer to the question is no. Thank you. My time has expired, Mr. Chairman.